we've been allowed to film a pioneering medical technique. Breathe in now. Hold it there, Tess. Doctors at the Royal Papworth are treating a potentially lethal lung condition using something that might surprise you. The cardiologist Stephen is looking for tiny clots inside Stefan's lung and when he finds one, he's going to inflate a tiny balloon. It opens up the artery, it lets the blood flow freely again. This is the balloon I'm talking about. It's only a few centimetres long. So we've got an anchor wire sitting in the vessel that we want to treat and now we're going to use, our, use this to position our guiding catheter. Doctors use x-rays to place it inside the body. Now watch it inflate pushing blood clots out of the way. And once it's removed, the blood can flow easily again. A few hours before the procedure, patient Stefan told us about his illness. Being able to walk any length of distance was very restricting. Walking upstairs, your heart was pounding, you're short of breath, um, you were constantly feeling exhausted. I mean, I was always falling asleep in this chair at home. Um, it was really quite debilitating. Not only did the lung blood blockages stop him breathing, they put pressure on his heart too. The new procedure means a new outlook. It's made me focus differently in life, um, have different priorities, one of which is to see my daughter grow up a bit more. She's 16 just now. I'd like to be around a bit longer. So now they're just navigating their way around the lung. Every so often they pump dye through and that can tell them exactly where they are. The balloon technique's been used on hearts for years, but after a long trial at Papworth, it'll also be routinely available for lungs. It's really satisfying to be able to offer this treatment for patients uh, who otherwise don't have many other treatment options, uh, and to see uh, meaningful differences to their health is very rewarding. How are you feeling there, all right? After barely more than an hour, it's over. So we treated two big uh, vessels in the... Uh, in the lung there. Got a nice result. Um, hopefully that'll help your breathlessness. And Stefan's chatting away. A few years ago this just wasn't around and to have this facility here and have the opportunity, I don't know the right words to sort of say, I'm grateful I am for the opportunity to come down here. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.